Okay, so we've reached the final problem of section one of this 2020 Kiskit Advocate exam. And by reading this question, which says, which of the following gates is different from the rest? Um, you can already see that this, this test um, is showing us age because some of these gates, the gates U1, U2, U3, have already been deprecated from Kiskit. But that's quite all right. We, we, will, we will explain them anyway, and, and um, we'll go over what they have been replaced by. And we can still solve this problem um, in, in the context of, of this new gates that, that we use to replace the deprecated ones. So first off, let's, let's talk about the U1 gate. So U1 gate, is a single rotation gate and it specifies as U1 of lambda and it's given by the matrix 1, 0, 0, e to the i alpha. So in Kiskit, this has been replaced by what is known as the phase gate. And the phase gate, surprisingly, or maybe not surprisingly, is exactly the same as the U1 gate. So one, zero, zero, e to the i lambda. So, so we have the exact same gate. It just now goes by the name of the face gate instead of the U1 gate. And in this problem, uh, we are given a U1 gate with lambda equal to pi. So, you know, this is going to be equal to the phase gate of pi. So if we go and replace that in our matrix, we get one zero zero e to the i pi, right? Which is equal to one zero zero and e to the i pi is just minus one. So if you see here, this is the same as a z gate z or z gate right so so that's our first option now let's talk about the u2 gate the u2 gate is a gate that performs rotation about two angles so angle um let's call it phi m lambda okay and and this gate is supposed to perform the following set of rotations. So it has, um, let me write it down first. There we go. And then R, Z, oops, R, Z, Lambda. So it's supposed to perform first a rotation about the Z axis of Lambda, then a rotation about the Y axis of Pi over two and then a rotation about the z-axis of phi. Okay, so the general matrix for this is given by u2 of phi and lambda equal to one over root two of one e to the i phi minus e to the i lambda and e to the i phi phi plus lambda. And the reason this gate has been deprecated is because the U2 gate is um, a specific case of a, a U3 gate. So a U3 gate, as we will see in a minute, is a gate that performs rotation about three an different angles. So the U2 is just uh, a specific case in which one of those angles is uh, of a certain constant value. And, and we'll get to that in a second. But for this problem, we're told that the second option, and we're trying to find out which, which gates 
are which of the the all the options is is different from from the others so we're given a u2 with an angle phi of zero and an angle lambda of pi well if we replace that in in our matrix above we get one over root two then we get again one e to the i zero which is just one right and then here minus e to the i and lambda pi but e to the i pi is minus one and with this minus one then it becomes positive one so one and then down here we have phi of zero and lambda is pi so e to the i pi is minus one so if you see here we already have that option one which was u to u one of pi was a, equivalent to a z gate in this case this u two of zero comma pi is actually equivalent to a Hallamark gate right so we already know these two are different now let's go and take a look at a u3 gate a u3 gate as i as i mentioned is a gate that rotates about three different angles and it's given by angle theta phi and lambda and it's supposed to perform the following sets of set of rotations so we have rz phi rx of minus pi over two rz of theta rx of pi over two and rz lambda and as i mentioned before this gate has also been deprecated in Kiskit and it's been replaced by the u gate the u gate is basically the same as as the uh, u3 gate it's just been renamed so so this is the same as u of theta phi lambda so it's just a renaming just like it happened with the u1 gate that has been renamed as the phase gate now as i mentioned before the U2 gate is a specific case of this U3 gate. So let's take a look at how is that possible. Well, um, if, you, if you look at the general matrix for U3, we have cosine of theta over 2 here, EI phi of sine theta over 2, minus e to the i lambda sine of theta over 2 and then e to the i phi plus lambda cosine of theta over 2 so for for this matrix to match that of the u2 matrix well we need this term to be one well actually one over root two and then this one to have a minus a factor of minus one uh, or minus one over root two and and so it's easily uh, we can easily see that that happens when this theta is pi over two pi over two so so if we if we say okay u2 is equal to phi lambda equal to u3 for the specific case where theta is pi over 2 right and we replace this in here rz of phi rx of minus pi over 2 and all I'm doing is just rewriting this expression here but now I'm gonna I'm gonna replace here the theta for pi over two and then Rx 
pi over 2 and lastly rz of lambda and if you see here this right here all these rotations have constant angles and this is actually equivalent to r y pi over 2 which is equivalent to what we had here for the u2 gate so now if if for this problem we're given a u3 with angles of pi over 2 0 and pi we already know for this problem that this is the same as having a u2 with angles of 0 and pi which we already derived and is equal to an h gate so the the option that is different in our problem is is option 1 which is the u1 gate of pi now we can we can go into Qiskit and and look at look at these different gates and, and see what they do. So so we can import from Qiskit, um, import our quantum circuit as usual, right? We can from Qiskit quantum info. I'm going to import this operator class and then. Uh, because I want to render these operators nicely, I'm going to import from Qiskit tools visualization import uh, this function array to LaTeX. Okay, oh, and um, also I need NumPy uh, to specify some of the angles. So, first we can create a, a quantum circuit of one qubit and we're going to apply a u1 gate with an angle of pi that's our option one right and we're going to apply that on qubit zero and we're going to draw that circuit so what what you're going to see here is that we're going to get a warning a warning message saying that this u1 gate has been deprecated and it will be soon removed from from Qiskit. but uh, we can still use it, so we can do, you know, a U1 operator, we can do operator QC, and then we can print it. U1 op, and we can see here that it does in fact uh, look like the Z gate, right? And, and you know, we can also show that uh, we can get the exact same result if we replace this with a phase gate. So this is P and we draw that and we get the exact same result, but with no warning right now. This U1 gate is, is been replaced by this phase gate and we can do the same here. We can create a, let's call it P operator or, you know, pop <laughs> uh, of our new quantum circuit and we're going to print um, print that nicely and then we see it's also a Z gate and we can do the same thing for the other ones right so we can do um, redefine our quantum circuit so let me go back here and just copy and paste this down here for a U2 gate where the angles are let me just go back and double check of 0 and pi so we're gonna specify U2 gate with 0 and pi we get again um, a warning that this has been deprecated and here it gives us some uh, option of how to replace it so instead of using a u2 gate they're telling us to use a u gate with this value of theta as we derived before and then we can do a u2 operator uh, equal to operator of our quantum circuit and then uh, let's print that u2 up and here we see that it looks like a Hadamard gate and uh, we can do the same thing for the general u, u operator I won't do the u3 because uh, it's just the same so we'll just do um, an angle of pi or two here and we get the, the gate for uh, the circuit for the u gate and then again we can do the same for our U operator for a new quantum circuit. Here we can see that it does in fact look like a Haramar gate.
So that's all for question 1.5. So as we said before, the gate that's different here is the U1 gate with an angle of pi. All the other ones are equivalent to a Hadamard gate. And that concludes the first section of this exam. And um, hope to see you in the next set of videos.